Hey, this is Michael Lairs. Okay, I know yesterday I wore this shirt. I am not nasty. I am actually recording this video at the same time that I recorded the first video, but you just getting it the next day. So check this video out, all right? All right, hey, so what I want to tell you about this video is I, I was thinking about something else that as I was going through the scripture that I forgot to add on. So I'm like, I'm going to add that on. You know, it's important. Like, you know, a scripture has so much oomph in it, if you know what I mean. It has like a lot of stuff in one scripture. You know, you can dig into it all day. You know, it's really good. All right. So but what, I, what was really interesting about this was. When King Darius, you know, made the decree and um, Daniel actually went into the lion's den, he worried all night. It says that he, from sun up to sundown. Let, let's look at the scripture. Hold on. Let me grab this real quick. And if you look at uh, Daniel chapter 6. Oh, yeah. Daniel chapter 6 and um, verse 16. It says, so the king gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel. May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. All right, and let's see. Boy, that ain't even the one I'm looking for. My bad. Hold up, hold up. Okay, there we go, there we go. Daniel, I'm sorry. Daniel chapter 6, verse 14, it says, yeah, verse 14, it says, When the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made every effort until sundown to save him. Right? So here he is. The king is worried. He's he's stressing, right? He's trying to figure out in his mind how he's going to handle the problem that has occurred, right? While Daniel on the other end, he just trusted in God, as we've seen in the video before. So a lot of times when things do hit us, the first thing we do instead, like I said, instead of running to God, we try to figure out how we can fix it. What can we possibly do to change the situation? And that's what this king was doing. And I guarantee you, he was probably stressed and depressed. And he, it says in the, um, a verse, uh, let's see, it says in verse, verse 18, it says, then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him. And he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. Do you see this? This man was stressed. Like he couldn't sleep. He couldn't eat. His wife probably tried. What's going on, right? Because he's trying to figure out how to change this problem when the guy who is in the lion's den already knew how to change the problem. And it was just to have faith in God. So that's even more of a call to just have faith in God no matter what. To Keep pushing the guy. Don't try to figure it out on your own. You go to God and you trust him. Whatever he tell you to do, do it. If he's been telling you to do a business, do it. If he's been telling you to do it a certain way, do it. If he's been telling you to walk in your ministry, do it. Like Nike, just do it, man. That's all we got to do. It is really, really simple if you think about it. But we want to think in our mind because I always do it all the time. I'm still working on just doing it because sometimes I've I'm smart, you know, God, I can figure this out. And here I go again, back in the same predicament that I was in before this happened. So again, have faith in God, trust in God, believe in God that he wants you to be successful. Believe in God that he wants you to do whatever he's having you step out on faith and doing, and it will come to pass. All right, so if you like this video, which I hope you did. I want you to like it, right? Click that button. Now, after you like it, share it. See, because people like my videos, but they don't share the videos. So it's like, I would rather for you to share it than like it. But I want you to do both because, you know, if you share it, somebody else is going to get it. But if you like it, it show me that me and you connecting, right? So just do both for me. Share, like, subscribe, and whatever else you're supposed to do on the social media platforms to help this grow, right? What we got here to grow. All right, I appreciate it. And remember, I didn't say this last video, but remember, success is up to you. And this is not the same shirt. This is a different, this is the same shirt, but it's the same day that I'm recording it. Peace. <laughs> Would you like more spiritual insight or training on creating your amazing business? Go ahead over to basisforsuccess.com and get my free report on the 10 ways to position your life for freedom completely free. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. They are sure to bless you. And remember that success is up to you.